Hey, what's up? It's Logan, Logan Alec. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to apply for unemployment benefits in California. And I'm going to show you how to do it online. So um, let's get into it. So what you want to do is you want to go to edd.ca.gov slash unemployment slash filing underscore a underscore claim dot htm. And um, you know, here's some important things to know before we get started. When to file a claim. File your unemployment um, insurance claim in the first week that you lose your job or have your hours reduced. Your claim begins on the Sunday of the week you submitted your application. Okay, so in other words, please file your applicate file your claim as soon as you possibly can. This is not something to delay. This is your money. This is your cash flow. Okay, this is you paying your bills, making rent. Um, and all that. So here's the information you need to file a claim. Um, last employer information, you probably have that. Last date you worked, the reason you're no longer working, your earnings in the last week you worked with the week uh, beginning on Sunday for these purposes. Information on your work history for the past year and a half, right? You can read what you need here, name, address, dates of employment, how much you earned, hours worked per week, hourly rate to pay, the reason you're no longer working. Uh, this one's only for federal employees. This one's only for military. And then you got to know your citizenship status. <laughs> if you're a U.S. citizen or, um, or you're otherwise authorized to work in the United States, I assume you know that. Um, all right. So then how to file a claim. You can, of course, do it by phone, by fax or mail, but that that's not for us. We want to do it online. Okay. So you're going to click online. And then notice when you can file a claim online, there's certain days and times that you can do so. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty much all day, you know, during the day into even the later evenings, except for like the wee hours or the mornings, maybe they do maintenance or something. Anyway, when you got all the information up here, then you just click this UI online thing. And then, um, the first thing you have to do is you have to, uh, register, right. For an account with the EDD benefit programs online. So if you have previously registered, like maybe you filed for unemployment in the past or um, you took paid family leave or something, then you might already have a login, but I'm gonna assume that you don't. So um, you gotta click this benefit programs online thing, log in or register. All right, you're gonna hit new registration. So just, you know, terms and conditions, okay. All right, so you gotta create your profile. Right, you're gonna put your email in there, password, whatever. Uh, doesn't. I'm not actually creating an account because I already have an account because I took paid family leave. But um, you know, set up. You got to answer your security questions. In what stage you meet your spouse or significant other? Now, a little hint with these security questions, like don't make them real. You know what I mean? Like, because um, people could probably figure out, uh, you know, what was what was your high school senior prom theme? All they would have to do is figure out what high school you went to when you graduated and maybe look at yearbooks.com or something like that to figure out your prom theme. So don't use like a real answer. So I'm just going to make some up right now. So, you know, what was your high school senior prom theme? Uh, don't use these, by the way, obviously, or else everyone who's watching these videos will know. But I'm going to say like... Um, you know, unemployment, um, what was your oldest child's birth weight? A hundred pounds, three ounces. Um, what was the first job you quit? Um, uh, deep sea diving. And then what was the name of a college you applied to? It was University of Timbuktu. And then you have to do this weird thing where you pick like an image and a caption. So it's not a way of confirming you are who you are because like sometimes when you log in, it'll ask you, okay, wh which one's your image? So pick an image that you remember. Oh, those look like my glasses. And then you got to give a, uh, a caption that you will associate with the image. So I might put like, you know, eyeballs or I, I don't know, something like that. And I click, I'm not a robot. You're going to click next. Okay. And then there might be another screen. I'm not sure. I'm not going to click it because this is obviously, I'm not actually doing this right now, but you will get a, um, an email. And let me see if I can show you what that email looks like. Cause I got one. Let's see here. Right. So, uh, you know, you have successfully registered for an account, log into benefits programs online. So you get this email, then you'll log in. 
right? And then what you'll log in with uh, the information that you just created. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's exactly the one I picked. Anyway, okay. Um, UI online. So select UI online to file a claim for unemployment insurance benefits. So, yep. That's what we want. You're going to file a new claim. Okay, so you need you need this information. You know, a lot of it was on that other screen, but I don't think this one was your driver's license or ID card, but you need that. Um, your social security number. I think a lot of this stuff is on that other screen that we saw. So uh, make sure you review and read all this information. I'm not going to read it here, but you're going to say I've read all the above information. All right, so then you got to answer these questions. Did you work in another state and or Canada during uh, the last 18 months? I'm going to say no, but obviously if you work in another state or Canada the last 18 months, you would say yes, right? Have you applied for unemployment benefits in our city or Canada? Last, no. Uh, did your employer union or non-union trade association give you one of the following claim forms for unemployment insurance benefits? I assume um, no, but obviously if they did, you would you would say yes. Did you serve in the military the last 18 months? No. Worked for an agency of the federal government last 18 months? No. They filed an unemployment insurance claim in California last 12 months? No. All right, so then you got to put your social security number. Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, was the social security number issued to you or issued on your behalf by the social security? Yes. If you've used any other social security number, please list them if you have scary <laughs> um did a birth or maybe you got it had to get a new one because it was compromised i don't know if the story is there your gender uh, is this a name that appears in your social security card yes use any other, other names in your life you know put them here uh, then it says provide your driver's license. Then it says provide your driver's license or identification card number, even if it is from a state other than California. So do you have a driver's license? Yes. Come on, ADD website. It's taking a while, right? Because a lot of people are applying right now. You know, I would uh, recommend like doing this early in the morning if you can, because um, when less people are doing it. Okay, so review the information. Yes, it's right. Um, provide the date, filing date of any claims that you have filed within the past two years. This includes unemployment insurance, disability, and paid family leave. Um, now, I, I have filed paid family leave after the birth of a child, but I'm, I'm going to say no just for the sake of this example. Okay, yes, it wants you to review. Uh, your mailing address, you're going to put it in. This is my business address. So, is your residence the same as your mailing address? Uh, I'm just going to say yes for this purpose. If you don't live in California, enter the name of the country or country equivalent. And if you're not living in California, enter the name of the county or county equivalent where you live. If you do not, well, I do live in California, so I'm not, I don't think I have to do that. All right, phone number. Okay, so, you know, I put the address in. They like it a certain format, the post office format. So I'm going to say, okay, that's cool. Um, are you a citizen? Yes. I uh, want your education stuff. So, master's degree. Are you a veteran? No. Race. You know, I'm white and Hispanic, but I'm just going to say white just to make it simple. Do you have a disability? No, preferred spoken and written language. Cantonese, no, English. Um, did you work for any employer in the last 18 months? Yes. So you're going to put the name of your employer here. Phone number. Uh, yeah. So this is asking, is the work site or physical address of your very last employer the same as the mailing address? So 
you know, maybe you have an employer that has a corporate office, right? And that's what you would put here, the mailing address. But then, you know, let's say that you work in a, a store or some other work site, right? So you would put that down here. You'd say no and you put that down here, but I'm not going to mess with that for now. It's just, that's, that's a case by case thing, but well, okay. What the heck? Sure. Okay. You know, maybe there's a store at one, two, three main street, Los Angeles, California. And then the phone number for that store might be, well, let's do three, two, three, cause it's LA fake phone numbers, by the way. All right. So I'm going to save. Um, now I want some more details. What is the first and last name of your immediate supervisor? Um, the immediate supervisor is, of course, John Legend. Last date worked. So this is the you know the last date that you worked before you were um, you know laid off. So I'm going to say March sixteenth. Sure. Reason no longer working. Um, so, you know, I assume many of you, you were laid off. Okay. But if your hours got cut or something like that, you know, you'd say, you know, still working part time, but I'm going to assume that, you know, we're laid off here. So I'm going to say laid off. Oh, okay. So laid off. Um, you know, obviously that's a thing. So if, if that's, if that's the reason why select that one, but if it's for some other reason, you know, uh, pick that. I'm just going to pick that one. If you received or you expect to receive any payments from your very last employer or any other employer other than your regular wages, report the payment below. So this is asking, hey, do you need severance pay when you quit, right? That's in addition to your normal wages you would make on a weekly basis. Put it here. I'm going to assume I don't have any of that, but obviously if any of these apply to you, you would stick them in there. All right. Did you work for any employer from... Uh, October 1st, 2018, I'm going to say yes. Okay. Did you work for any employers? Okay, so I think I have to add the employer again. First saver for this employer. I'm going to say I started working for them on, obviously you use your actual date, but I'm going to say October 1st, 2018. Last day, what did I say? March 16th. I say I worked full time and I'm going to say um, I earned 20 bucks an hour and I worked 40 hours a week. Okay, now this is asking for like the gross wages um, for each quarter. So I'm just going to do a little little math. Okay. So if I earn 20 bucks an hour and work 40 hours a week, that means I grossed $800 a week. Right. Um, and I'm just gonna say, um, you know, what's 52 divided by four. So 13, I'm going to assume there's 13, uh, weeks, right. In a quarter. And if I make, um, $800 a week, that means I probably gross about, um, Ten thousand four hundred dollars per quarter, right? You are not just going to do a back of the napkin calculation like this. By the way, you're actually going to go um, through your pay stubs and and actually find the gross wages that you work. You should have paper pay stubs that you kept. Always keep your pay stubs. Um, or if they use something like ADP or something like that, maybe you had a portal you could log into and get your old pay stubs. So, um, or just have to contact. Right, your employer. So, did you work for any employer? Okay, yes, I already added them. Did you work for any other employer? No, we're saying this is the only one. Uh, which employer did you work for the longest? Let's say it's that one. All right, so how long did you work for that employer? Okay, so I said I started on October 8th, right? Or October 1st, 2018. So, what is that? So, one year to October 2019, then November, December, January, February, March, and five months because I said I, I got laid off in March. Select the industry. Uh, it's a private employer, right? If it's something else, you pick that. What type of business? Add business type. 
Um, I'm going to say finance, insurance, and real estate. Well, it certainly is not one of those services. My, my company is a blog, you guys, moneydoneright.com. Um, so I'm just going to say it's education. But you're going to actually spend more time looking and making sure you pick the right category. Uh, what kind of work did you do that for the employer? Blogger. You must select a work type. Okay. Oh, you got to search. Uh, what the heck? Okay. I, it looks like you got to actually type something there and then hit search. So I'm going to say that I was a... Hmm. Wow, they have a lot of things here. Writer. Okay, good enough. All right, so you got to type it there and then hit search. All right, we're going to do next. Did you work for or provide services to, to or on behalf of any educational institution between October 1st, 19th? No, I'm going to say no. If you did, you work for a school or something, you would say yes, but I'm saying no. Okay, what type of work do you normally perform? Writer, we just established that. What other type of work can you perform? Okay, so this is asking like, what else can you do, right? Because the whole, the reason why they're asking these questions is because, you know, unemployment benefits aren't intended to be like permanent, you know, universal basic income. It's intended to be, you know, benefits that the state pays you while you are in between jobs and, you know, looking, looking for work. So it says, Hey, we want to make sure that, you know, you're still going to be part of the workforce and this is just a temporary deal. Right. So I'm going to add, you know, you can add some other work type here. Um, I do have a CPA license, so I'm going to say accountants. Uh, I'm also very good with children. So I'm type babysitter. Um, wait, what happened to accountant? Does it, only, does it only take one? Maybe. So select add work type to choose an additional type of work. Okay, so I guess you can just pick one. Fine. Is the type of work you normally perform seasonal? No. Do you expect to return to work from a former employer? So right now, right, there's a lot of businesses that are temporarily closing. So if you expect to return to work for your old boss, your old job, you'd say yes. But, you know, if you're pretty sure you're not going to come back, you would say no. So in this case, I'm going to I'm going to say no. Do you have a date to start work? No. So if your employer said, hey, you're going to come back to, you know, we're laying off right now, but you're going to come back to work on such and such date, you'd, you'd say yes, right? And wants the date there. Otherwise, you'd say no. The reason they ask is because they want to know. They want to know how long are we going to be paying you these benefits, right? Um, are you ready and willing to accept work that matches your work skills and educational background? Example, I've offered a job. They're looking for a yes here, right? They want to know that you're not just 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 trying to just collect a check from the state. Um, they want to know that you are actually, you, you want to be back in the labor force um, as soon as you can. Are you currently self-employed? The, my, the answer, my answer is yes, but I'm assuming most of you are not, so I'm going to say no. Are you a member of a union or non-union trade association? I'm going to say no. If you say yes, you're going to have to give information about your union. Next. Are you receiving or will you receive the next two weeks a pension or retirement that is not Social Security, which is based on your own work or wages? So if you are going to, if you receive a pension or retirement benefits, um, then you say yes. I am in my 30s, so I'm going to say no. Are you receiving or do you expect to receive workers' compensation? I'm going to say no. If you say yes, you got, you're going to have to give information about your claim. Are you currently attending or have a scheduled start date to attend cool school or training? I'm going to say no. But of course, if you say yes, you're going to have to input information about this school or training you're going to attend. Um, are you now or have you been in the last 18 months an officer of a corporation, officer of a union, or the sole or major stockholder of a corporation? I'm going to say no. Assuming most of you, are, that's no. But if you say yes, you would put the information. Do you serve as an elected public official or governor exempt appointee in the last 18 months? Nope. If you're a fancy government bigwig, you'll put yes. I'm going to put no. 
All right. Are you unemployed as a direct result of a recent disaster? For example, earthquake, flood, mudside, or fire in California? I'm going to put no. All right. So it says your application for unemployment insurance has not yet been submitted. Review the information. So you're going to review all this good stuff here. Make sure that it's all accurate. Um, and if it all looks good to you, what you will do is you'll hit submit. I am not hitting submit um, because uh, this is not real. I'm not actually submitting uh, an unemployment application uh, right now in California. But if you were actually doing this along with me, you would hit that submit button. You get a confirmation. Um, all right, so that is how you file for unemployment insurance in California. What do you think? Do you have any questions? Let me know down in the comments. Also, I recently created another video about unemployment benefits uh, on a more general level, right? Um, applicable to, to everyone. So um, go ahead and check that video out right up there. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. And as always, do money right.